people traveling to Cape Town, experiencing street art for the first time. Yo, there's just a range, you know, the, there's big pieces on the trains, super colorful, really technical, straight up graffiti lettering, you know, to the stuff that's happening in Woodstock. And Woodstock particularly draws on South African context, you know, you've got everything from yo, zebras to portraits of African women carrying babies on their backs. And there's just a there's a widespread of themes, but I think the the you know we're thriving off the land that we that we live on, and, and I, I think that's what they, where people are are orientated towards, you know. Cape Town is a diverse city. There's a lot to be told. Newspapers, magazines, TVs, they, they can do everything. So art is contributing to that. So we started painting street art to tell stories, to inspire to educate, to create about change. And we've got uh, artists from London, like Masai Lui. He has been traveling, painting to raise awareness about endangered animals. So if you look at Africa as a whole, not everyone knows that we are losing rhinos every day. So once that art goes on the wall, it will raise awareness and open eyes for the people. They will realize that we are running out of rhinos. So this creates very, very big uh, awareness. Make sure you have at least a day to enjoy our street art in Cape Town because we've got a lot of street art. But if you don't have enough time, just come to Woodstock and spend at least half a day. There's a lot of street art so you can walk following street art and enjoy the colorful uh, buildings, the designs in, in Woodstock. Wielding a spray can, the pace at which you can create a finished product is incredible. It still blows my mind every time. You know, our ability to take art into the streets and for people to be able to, everybody to be able to have a, a dialogue or to be able to witness it, to be able to kind of come up with their own interpretations, be it something simple, rudimentary, letters, political, hyper-realism, whatever it is, somebody, you have a, it evokes something. As a foreigner or as somebody who's never really been around street art, I think, You've got to kind of find your eyes for it. Walk around, take time, look up. Not everything's at ground level. Look on the side of, in the, on the side of buildings. Everything has the, the ability to be covered in something interesting, and, and you've got to be able to, you've got to be able to, you've got to look to see it. The growth is happening as we speak, and uh, yeah, it's, it's all around. I should know, please tell.